How are you doing? How are you doing? Good. A little chilly out here. A little bit, yeah. So you, you've got a chance to look at the Oregon film. What's the biggest thing you need to fix from that game to this one? I think, uh, you know, playing better the first series of the second half and uh, not having second half mistakes. You know, we had some mistakes. They were big in that game and, and uh, hopefully we don't allow those things to happen again. What do you think, what, what can you attribute the second half, the way you came out compared to the, the start of the game? Was, uh, you know, some, some guys probably played that didn't get a lot of reps, uh, but that's no excuse. Um, you know, just just didn't have a good half. I really can't pin it on one one thing or another. We were all in it together, and uh, we didn't play well in the second half. And, and uh, whether it was gap integrity or coverage or whatever it may have been or execution of pressure, uh, it just wasn't good. How much did you miss uh, Isaiah Paul Mal once he got injured? Yeah, a lot. You know, he uh, was doing a lot of things for us in that game, um, not only early but throughout the whole game. Um, was excited about really the progress he's made the last few weeks at the safety oh, position. And, you know, oh, once, oh, once he got knocked out, I think it, it uh, you know, hurt our defense when you don't have one of your better players out there. You guys, in one of the stats in terms of third now, you guys are 100, 130th in the nation and forcing teams into three and outs. What, what is making it so hard to get off the field for you? You know, I, I didn't really realize that, but other than Notre Dame and last week, uh, you know, we've been under and down on the 30 percentile. But, uh, you know, obviously when that happens, sometimes there's maybe too many third and shorts. And, um, you know, third and ones, third and twos. And we probably got to play better on first down to go get them in more third and longer situations. Coach, uh, we're running a feature on Elijah, and I'm just wondering what kind of energy does he bring Elijah. to Elijah Griffin. Oh, yeah, um, he plays a lot of energy. I mean, uh, brings a lot of energy in the meetings, brings a lot of energy in practice. Um, you know, he's a guy that, uh, you know, He's never, never down. He's always got a lot of juice. Would you characterize his, him as like a vocal leader, or what's he like in the game? Yeah, I think he wears his emotions on his sleeves. I mean, you see, uh, when he makes a good play, he's excited about it, and uh, and when he makes a not a, not so much a good play, he, he's hard on himself. So, there's been a lot of up and downs this season. How do you think he's handled that? Uh, you know, I think he's grown up a lot. I think, um, you know, between he's he's made a big jump from last year to this year, um, and. You know, I think that, that he um, has really gotten a lot more focused. What kind of attitude does he bring to, like, the film room and stuff that's off the field? Uh, you know, he's attention to detail. He wants to be the best that he can be at his position. And, um, you know, he uh, he's a guy that loves challenges. And that's one of the things I like about him as a player. Thank you, Coach. Well, this time of year, everybody's dinged up. You know, are, are you satisfied with the physicality of the team at this point? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, the guys that come out and they work hard every week and they practice hard, and and um, I haven't seen a problem with that. With uh, with Max having the foot injury, are we going to see uh, Macaulay this week in Greg Johnson's game? Um, Coach Hilton will answer all those questions in terms of personnel and who's going to play and who's not going to play with injuries and stuff like that. What does it mean to get uh, Greg Jackson? Uh, sorry, it's not Greg Jackson. Uh, Drake Jackson back. Oh, I mean, a lot. I mean, uh, you know, get, having the opportunity to get Drake back, uh, you know, we sorely missed him, and he's made a lot of progress every single game, um, you know, through practice, through, through game preparation, and really excited about his progress. What are you telling um, – Drake and uh, Christian Rector facing another quarterback who's got wheels. Can yeah, I mean, this guy's very talented. He can do a lot of things with his feet. Um, you know, we just got to stay in it. You know, this is a big game for maintaining rush lanes once again. What did you think of uh, EA? I thought he came in and played well. I thought, uh, um, you know, he gave us the things that we asked him to do in certain packages. and. And I was happy with the way he played and was excited to see him back out there. Can we expect to see continued rotation between him and Malga considering, you know, early on in the season it was sort of keeping the same It's too early to tell. I mean, it's just kind of once again, wait and see how the, the, uh, the next couple of days play out.